Hi there, Steve Coffin here, and it's our fifth week of the 90 day challenge and of this course where we're going to take ourselves to a breakthrough level in our language. And today I want to talk about reviewing words and phrases because obviously we know, and I've said this before, that to learn anything we need a certain level of repetition. In fact, the uh, world renowned uh, neuroscientist Manfred Spitzer wrote in a book that I read that to learn something we need novelty but we also need repetition. So if we only do repetition then the brain kind of there's this diminishing return you know we learn less and less but there is this saying about the brain that neurons that fire together I don't know they form a bridge like you got to get the neurons working over and over and over to start to learn something. So you need repetition. So how, how does reviewing come into this? All right, now uh, I'm going to talk to you about my experience. Every one of you has to find what works for them. Uh, there are spaced repetition systems where they have an algorithm which says that if you learn something now and then in another X, you know, in an hour and then in five hours and in five days and in 15 days, that there is a scientific, you know, uh, frequency or, or um, frequency of repetition that is optimal for learning. Personally, I am skeptical because there are so many factors that influence how we absorb new information, our emotions. Some things are easy to learn, some things that should be difficult some words, long words, complicated words, for whatever reason they stick. Some very simple words just never stick or we learn them and then we forget them again. And so I'm, I'm a bit skeptical about this or let's put it this way, I don't think it's su sufficiently beneficial to, to, to spend a lot of time on these spaced repetition activities that I would sacrifice other activities because I have a limited amount of time available for language learning. If I had eight hours a day, I would do spaced repetition. But if I have one hour a day, I have to decide, am I going to be reviewing my flashcards or am I going to be reading or listening and so forth. So to my mind, A, because I don't enjoy them that much uh, and B, because I don't think they're necessarily that much more effective than the enjoyable task of reading and listening. I don't do a lot of it. I do some of it. And I will tell you how I do it. All right. And I should point out that because in my learning at Link, I very quickly create a lot of links. I've got thousands of words, links created that I want to learn that if I were to have, you know, a major effort in reviewing flashcards, even in a very, you know, sophisticated spaced repetition system that would very quickly eat up all of the time that I have available for language learning. I would find that not enjoyable and I would not continue. So what I do is when I learn at link and, uh, and I, for my most recent languages, I've been using the mini stories, which in themselves have a lot of repetition and they are high frequency verbs. Then as I turn the page at link, I review. So I use the activities that we have at link and don't forget that you can set them you, because there are five activities. So there is uh, flashcards, reverse flashcards, fill in the blanks, uh, multiple choice and dictation. And they all have different uses. Dictation was very useful for me to get used to the Arabic writing system and the Greek writing system. But there are times when I don't want to do dictation. I just want to review them. I want the, the, uh, the review for me after each page at link is, is a, an opportunity to have some concentrated exposure to the words that I still don't understand, which I have saved as links, right? So I do that right after having read a text. I will also sometimes go to a lesson where I know most of the words there might only be 10 or 15 words or phrases in there that I feel I'm still struggling with rather than reading through the whole lesson. I will simply review those words, those yellow links in our review activities uh, and then go away and listen again. So there are many different ways that you can use these review activities. To me, the review activities are a form of concentrated exposure. 
So therefore, I don't in my settings, for example, my, my link uh, flashcards, I have all the information on the front of the flashcard. Uh, I don't want to have to scratch my brain uh, to try to remember. I, I don't think that, personally, I find that that is a waste of time. I would far rather be given the meaning all up front and it's just concentrated review. Now, in terms of concentrated review, there are things that you can do to enhance that activity. For example, using tags. So if I have trouble with verbs of motion in Russian, then I will tag verbs of motion when I see them. And then in the vocabulary section, I can review all of the words that I tagged for verbs of motion. Or if it's, you know, verbs in Spanish or subjunctive or whatever I choose to tag for, then I can have a concentrated exposure to those words. And don't forget too that with each word you save, you get example sentences. So, and I find these very useful and we now have text to speech for those. So that the idea is to get some concentrated exposure to things that you have trouble remembering. That's how I use my review activities. So, and, and of course the fact that particularly with the mini stories in the early stages of my learning and perhaps later on when I want to review certain basic structures, the mini stories themselves have a lot of repetition. They're a form of review. So that I wanted to share with you how I use these activities. I sometimes go to the vocabulary section and I can look at the SRS tag or I, you know, tab, or I can look up a tag of some kind that I have chosen and then have this concentrated review until I get tired of doing it because I can only do that for 15 minutes or so and then I lose interest. Uh, so, you know, I think the review is an important part of learning a language because it enables us to, to get exposure to content in a different way. It has the advantage too that sometimes we're tired of reading and listening and we want to do something else. So the review is kind of a, a thing that you can do that doesn't require a lot of thought. Uh, and so it just enables us to cover some of the same ground in a slightly different way. So I would encourage you to do the review and to do it in the way that suits your personal preferences and see what works for you. And it is a feature we have a link and uh, make sure you take and try to take full advantage of it. So thank you for listening and keep on with your 90 day challenge.